Today, we will review the paper The Major Genetic Risk Factor for Severe COVID-19 is Inherited from Neanderthals in Nature. This paper looks into the archaic human origin of genetic risk factors for COVID. The COVID-19 pandemic caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2 has touched almost all corners of the globe and has till date caused well over a million people to die. But all aren't affected to the same extent by the disease. Some people have no or mild symptoms, whereas others have severe. Genetic risk factors have a role in disease progression. Studies have indicated up to two genomic regions that are associated with severe COVID-19. One region on chromosome 3, which contains six genes, and potentially one region on chromosome 9 that determines ABO blood groups. The risk variant in this region on chromosome 3 confers an odd ratio for requiring hospitalization of 1.6. A Neanderthal haplotype that is found in the genomes of present human populations is expected to be more similar to a Neanderthal genome than to other haplotypes in current human populations. The figure shows a phylogeny relating the haplotypes that were found more than 10 times. All risk haplotypes associated with severe COVID-19 form a clade with the three high-coverage Neanderthal genomes. Within this clade, they are most closely related to the Vindia Neanderthal from Croatia. So a high risk for severe COVID is something we have inherited from the Neanderthals. In terms of carrier frequencies, Half of all South Asians and one-sixth of all Europeans carry at least a copy of the risk haplotype. The highest carrier frequency occurs in Bangladesh, where almost two-thirds carry at least one of the, of the risk haplotypes. The Neanderthal haplotype may thus be a substantial contributor to COVID-19 risk in some population, in addition to other risk factors including advanced age. In apparent agreement with this, individuals of Bangladeshi origin in the UK have an about two times higher risk of dying from COVID-19 than the general population. The authors of this paper speculate some about the reason for this distribution. One possibility is protection against other pathogens, where the decrease in frequency in Eastern Asia due to negative negative selection, perhaps because of previous exposure to coronaviruses. In any case, the COVID-19 risk haplotype on chromosome 3 is similar to, to some other Neanderthal and Denisovan genetic variants that have reached high frequencies in some populations owing to positive selection or drift, but is now under negative selection owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. That is all for today. Thank you for listening. Till next time, I wish you all the best.